got 125 pounds of weed coming in town. <laughs> Are you interested? Yeah. I'm interested. Where's it coming from? Guy I know up north. His name Galdez. You know him? Yeah. He killed one of my guys and ripped off 125 pounds of my weed this morning. Did you think you were the only one? Trist. This allows me to move forward. You're limited to the past. Present. Future is all an illusion. Time happens simultaneously. You're stuck in the past. Such a pity. You were always so wistful. <laughs> Why do you come here, Captain? Ahoy, first mate! <laughs> She's not your daughter. You don't have a daughter, right? Thomas Edison used to take naps, you know, uh, and that helped his genius along, you know. He was always in that subconscious state. I'll keep a an open pin in my pocket, you know, safety pin. A little citrus juice in my eyes. And you, my young friend, are one hell of a fine writer. You need to put in more laughs. But like, this is a drama, sir. Lucky for you, dramedies are the going thing. What I need is the story that is uniquely you. It was autobiographical. I don't want excuses. What is this? This This is an intervention? <laughs> the gentle reader will never know what a consummate ass he can become until he goes abroad. <laughs> I speak now, of course, in the supposition that the gentle reader has never been abroad before and therefore is not already a consummate act. <laughs>